A stunning image coming out of a Russian grocery store. Anti-theft tags seen on the lids of canned beef and pork. And we can't independently verify exactly when and where the photos were taken, but they seem to be yet another example of how the West sanctions are impacting ordinary Russians. And it comes as the Biden administration says Russia's economy is plunging into recession and getting crushed by crippling inflation. Matthew Chance is out front. In Russia, they're calling it the sugar panic. As Western sanctions on the country bite, ordinary people have been snapping up essentials here jostling with each other in the Russian city of Saratov to buy sugar off the back of a truck. <laughs> God bless you, the voice says, as a supermarket worker pushes a trolley of sugar towards anxious shoppers. They scramble to grab as much as they can before supplies run out. Pleas from Russian officials for the public not to panic by are going unheard. And now a prominent Russian economist tells CNN this economic pain is set to deepen. You know, we're seeing these shortages now, and that's bad enough for some people in Russia. But what, what you're saying is that, that soon we could see a much bigger, much more serious economic impact because of these sanctions. Yes, the shortages, it's a temporary, most of the shortages, it's a temporary problem. So that, that will be solved, like these goods will appear. So it's like, it's really acute phase and then everything is fine. With the quality of life, like actually real income, uh, that is not that apparent yet, but that will be, this uh, problem will be accumulating and becoming more and more apparent in the coming months. In fact, that impact on quality of life is already being felt. These are the crowds that flocked to an IKEA superstore in Moscow the day before it closed down last month. Across Russia, Western brands have suspended production or simply pulled out over the invasion of Ukraine. Jobs may soon go permanently. Even more seriously, there are concerns a shortage of Western medicines is starting to have a real impact on people's health. People like Anastasia in Moscow and her father, who she says has been diagnosed with a brain aneurysm. We asked everywhere, but no one had his medicine, she says. Now he feels sick. Russian officials say they're aware of the shortages and are trying to address them. But if sanctions persist, Russia faces being cut off from medical advances and other technologies that may set it back, even cause harm. But many Russians accustomed to hardship remain unshaken by the economic doom threatening their nation. I was born in Soviet times, says Larissa in the Russian town of Pokrov. She then speaks of the challenges since then, like economic restructuring and food stamps. We got over it all, she says. Valentina, also in Pokrov, says she doesn't mind that prices have gone up at all. In a month, it will all straighten out, she hopes. After years of navigating Western sanctions, there's, there's a belief perhaps misplaced. Things will work out this time too. When Russians are saying this, I mean, yes, ecologically they are used to sanctions, but in terms of the effect of on economy, it is much more damaging than uh, the sanctions that were previously implemented. Well, I mean, previously as well, the sanctions haven't really worked in terms of changing Russia's policy, changing the Kremlin's policy. Do you think there's a chance that these sanctions in that case will work and they will force the Kremlin to change course? Honestly, I doubt that. Uh, just uh, uh, just with the logic of the of the current regime in Russia, uh, they uh, it's it's a thing about Putin that he doesn't give up under pressure. It's like makes him even even more persistent uh, uh, at the expense of the country. Economic pain, it seems, is a price the Kremlin is willing to let its own people pay. Well, Erin, the Kremlin is trying to strike back to prevent its economy from imploding. For instance, by forcing what it calls unfriendly countries to pay for its Russian gas deliveries in Russian rubles instead of dollars or euros. So that's something that's been rejected by Western countries. And with that war continuing to rage in Ukraine, that the scene is set for yet more sanctions and more economic pain. Erin. All right. Thank you very much, Matthew.